Hi guys, this is Soro. In this video, we will learn how we can create a splash screen with progress bar in MIT App Inventor. So here we see the example first. So here you can see that's the screen here. So whenever someone open our app, so that's our app name, that's the background and here you can see progress bar. You can increase the speed of this progress bar. You can see here. Now after completing this progress bar, this will open the another screen automatic you don't need to do anything it's like a splash screen okay so i'm changing the speed of this uh, progress bar so i'm going to make it 100 okay and let's see here you can see it's look like a pro uh, like a progress bar or game is loading right you can use your loading option and you can do a lot of things here see that's the screen too right so you can use this functionality in any games any app right so how we can create this app let's see here we go so we are using your mit app inventor so just click on the start new project okay and that's my app name splash screen app click on okay okay now we need here one more screen okay that one is our splash screen right and second one is our main screen okay so click on add a screen option and screen 2 it's fine and click on ok right wait some seconds fine that one is our screen 2 i'm going to change it to screen 1 so that one is screen 1 right right now we need to drag and drop your one thing that one is slider i'm going to convert this slider into progress bar because there is no any specific component to make a progress bar so that's why we are using a slider to make as a progress bar right so i'm to make this one with this fill parent okay and make this win value is 10 max value is 100 and thumb position is zero right now let's click on screen and i'm going to change the background color of my screen here and in the left uh, right side you will find your background image click on upload file click on choose file okay so i'm going to select one file here right this one let's see how it's look that's my background background image right now i have to make this progress bar here this should be here right just drag and drop this label and rename this to game double z o seven like this you can use your loading option also so it will look more pretty or you can use one logo option to drag and drop one image here right so you can do a lot of things with this right so let's uh, change the font size let's change the text color to something something good so i'm going to make it like this and click on this screen and make this align to center and make this top to center like this okay now we have to uh, we have to use one thing uh, that one is one more level and i'm going to use this level here and make this screen align vertical should be top like this and change this label text to text to nothing and make this hide at least 70 percent so it's look like this now that's your app name and that's your progress bar here right now click on the slider and you can change this slider color left so i'm going to make this one to something like uh, this one okay and i'm going to change this color right to some black or you can use white or you can orange you can do anything like so i'm going to use like there is gray fine let's let's uh, that's the design here you can see here that's the design here right now i'm going to change uh, we have to done some code whenever or someone open our app so go to the block section now we have to initialize one variable first initialize global variable and i'm to make this global global variable name is thumbnail position tp okay and then i have to assign the value and i'm to assign this value to zero right now what we need to do we have to increase the thumbnail position right that one is position is right now position is zero if i suppose make it 50 and let's see this one look like this right so we have to increase the value right like this so how we can increase the value dynamically 
so that's very easy now we need to use here one timer to increase value right so that's why we need here one timer in the left side you'll find sensor option just drag and drop this clock and make this time interval like you can make it 400 100 like this one is this will uh, fire this timer will fire 10 times in every seconds okay we are using a 10 okay 100 that's why now go to the block and whenever we initialize the screen right so we have to set the uh, initialize this set global tp it means thumbnail position is just click on slider and you will find here the thumbnail position thumbnail position that one make it here like this now okay now what we will do we need to do here one thing that just click on clock and you will find here when clock one dot timer is fire then we have to increase this tp value it means thumbnail position value so i'm going to use here just use here set tp to just click on math and you will find your plus option thus plus component and we have to get the thumbnail current position it means it's zero plus i'm going to make it one or you can make it 10 if i make it one so this will uh, move smoothly okay so that's why i'm using a one and then we have to set the value also right so then that's it set global tp to set global tp plus one right so whenever timer will uh, fire then this will increase the value right now what we'll do we have to set this slider thumbnail position so click on this slider and you can just copy this one also just set thumbnail position to slider thumbnail no wait 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 just delete the delete this and click on slider and you will find your set slider thumbnail position where this one thumbnail thumbnail position this one set slider thumbnail position to this cat tp okay we are getting the global tp value and set this one in. and we are increasing the value also here right like this now let's refresh it and how it's worked till now you can see here this one is working fine right yeah that's great right now let's we have to open the another screen right so how we can do this so that's very easy just type here just type here click on anywhere in your code block and just type here open another screen you will find that this one just click on it because we have to set here if else condition click on control and drag and drop this if if and click on maths and you find this one equal if the cat global tp position is thumbnail position is 100 then we will open the another screen otherwise we will not open our screen right so that's why we are using your 100 we have to check the positions value right and just text click on your text and drag and drop this and just type your screen name your screen name is screen 2 you can see here screen 2 like this simple now go to the design and i'm going to make it click on screen 2 and then i'm going to do something here like i'm going to remove i'm going to make a background color something like this and i'm going to use one image in a center and i'm going to make it center i'm going to make it center i'm going to change your label and just type here screen 2 okay you can do anything this is just for like you can make a game so you can start your game coding and your des game design from screen 2 right so i'm going to change the color like this white and i'm going to set this image as a like something like uh, i have i already have one as actually as png and as and uh, i'm going to make hide as pixel is 200 pixel this capital uh, and make it pixel is 200 yeah no it's not looking fine so i'm going to remove the background image to none okay and i'm going to set the background color to something something should be great yeah that's fine right now let's go to the here 
and I'm going to refresh this. Okay, this one is not running now. I'm going to use an emulator to run this app. Okay, before running this app, make sure select this screen one. Okay, and go to the design and let's I'm going to refresh it. Oh, refresh it. And here you can see. Okay, we have to set the thumbnail position. I'm going to make it this one because if this one is reached the uh, 100 then this will automatically open the another screen right so that's why i'm using a click on slider and make this thumbnail position to zero right and let's again fix this time interval is 100 refresh and here you can see that's our app that's the progress bar that's the, your app screen first screen and whenever you, this one reach the age like your app is loading something and this will open another screen it means screen 2 all right so that's very easy and simple way to create a splash screen in mit app inventor right so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask me on command you can email me you can send me the message on instagram also right so have a nice day be safe bye bye please 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 don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video bye bye